up YouTubers and welcome to another beer review. With the YouTube of the Master Promise today, we're looking at yet another beer that was sent to me by the guys at ALS5Mail.com. Thanks so much to the guys for the beer. You rock. Check them out guys if you want to get some new UK craft beers from the newer UK breweries or beers from all over the world. It's delivered right to your doorstep. So this beer guys is one uh, from a brewery that I really wanted to try more of. And it's by the brewery called Wild Beer Company. And this is their modus operandi. And what they do with this one is that they brew up an old ale that they may ferment with wild yeast and then they oak age it for 90 days, which is really interesting. It sounds like it's going to be, from what I can smell right now, a kind of sour reddish, a sour red brown. Uh, in that almost Flemish style. So I got it poured guys and I believe also this is the Modus Operandi is one of the flagship beers they do. Um, or not flagship, but one of their more popular beers. Really hazy, copper burnt, kind of rusty orange color. Looks like a Flemish red or old boom. A nice kind of beige head to it. Let's check out the aroma. Yeah, oh, that smells good. <laughs> that is uh, reminiscent of something like Rodenbach Grand Cru. Uh, slightly funky, not super funky, it's mostly what I get from the sour browns is a lot of balsamic vinegar and grapes and like fruity mixed berries, cherries and stuff like that. Maybe a little vanilla too, uh, woody tannins, oaky tannins and those kind of berries note, berry notes. I really love that kind of balsamic vinegar you get on the Flemish style sours. The last sour, flavor style sour I had was actually Odenbach Vintage 2012, I believe, and that was awesome, but it smells really good. I love the oaky aroma too as well. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. And thanks so much to the guys at Ales by Mail for the beer. Wow. That is really good. <laughs> I was actually told, I believe it was Adam's Craft Beer Reviews. If you don't know him, guys, check him out. He does some reviews on YouTube. Um, he said, don't have your hopes up too high. So I didn't put him up too high because he said not all their beers are that great. This is really good though. I forgot to mention the alcohol percent by the way. By the way. It's a 7% alcohol. But this is so close to like the sour Flemish brown ale. Mmm. Not super sour, but a nice balance of that kind of tart sourness with Slight funky and dry oaky tannins. There's that almost vanilla aftertaste right now. It's just dry oaky, almost like cork. It's almost like, I don't know if you've ever done that, but when if you had a Cantillon beer or if you had a bottle of wine and try biting in the cork, that type of flavor, <laughs> it's almost that you get in the sense of the woody flavor. There's cherries, balsamic vinegar, forest berries, almost like a brown sugar, some vanilla. Oh, really good. Almost like a hint of tobacco. This is a really nice style of beer, and this is very well done. Super close to what they do in Belgium. Is it as good as Rodenbach Grand Cru and uh, the Rodenbach Vintages or uh, what a Duchesse de Bologna or uh, some of those beers? Almost. It is really good. I'd actually put it in class with something to, like the Duchess de Bologna, which is an awesome, like, benchmark uh, sour brown ale or Flemish red, or it's those, it's got many names style, but it's similar to something like that, just not as maybe as sharp, but really nice. Uh, rating wise, um, I'm gonna go straight up 90. This is really nice. Uh, really looking forward to be trying the next wild beer I have. But really, really good stuff. Mm. So, yeah, guys. Definitely check out the Wild Beer Company Modus Operandi if you can get it. And you can get them on Nails by Mail if you can't get them in your area. So, guys, as always, let me know what you think of the beer if you've had it. Remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, share it, social media, all that, Instagram, and I'm going to say cheers. And see you guys in another beer.